in National Health and, and in National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, which was conducted from 2011 to 2014. The average height of women in America was just a little under five feet, four inches tall. But what if I don't have the average height of a woman? I'm inviting you to my world, my everyday life, and my struggle. Come and explore my view of the world as a four feet eight inches woman. In short, women in a tall world by Leslie Rasmussen, a 50 year old woman faced some positive and negative experiences from having a not so average height based on society. I'll admit it, I'm only five feet tall. Okay, that's not true. I'm actually under five feet. I don't say that very often because just admitting it is not easy. There aren't a lot of people my height, so the majority of people do not understand how it feels like to be this short. I've heard every comment about my stature from, you know, good things come, good things come in small packages to Wow, you're so tiny, I just want to squeeze you. <laughs> at six, that was fine, but at my age, it's patronizing. Most people know better to comment if you're overweight. But for some reason, height seems to be everyone's business. And the fact that most people think that their comments are compliments is like me saying, that extra weight around your middle is so cute. <laughs> in the fashion industry, they like to call people like me petite. What a cute name it would be if the word petite didn't actually mean women under 5 feet 4 inches tall. 5'4? I'd give away my children if I could be 5'4. <laughs> Being my height can make me feel self conscious at times, especially when I buy clothes. Recently, I was at the store where they sent the pants out at the tailor to be hemmed. After being measured and leaving the store, I got a call from the tailor himself. He thinks that the person who measured me made a mistake. Because after all, who needs that much material to be taken off? When you're my size, weight is also an issue. If I gain three pounds, it's like there's a boulder sticking out of my stomach. But when you're taller and you gain three pounds, it might make your pinky look bigger, which is probably not gonna affect you zipping up your skirt. My friends all tell me they wish they were small like me. Really? I don't think so. They can stand in a group of people and be heard. When I'm in a group of people, I have to yell louder because my head is at their chest. And sometimes they even think that what I have said is not that interesting anyway. My kids passed my height when they were preteens, which is hard when you're trying to discipline them. I've always told them they may be taller than me, but I'll always be meaner. <laughs> but that's hard to sell when your 16 year old hunches his back into a C shape just to give you a hug and your 14-year-old thinks it's funny to carry you around the house. <laughs> Although, on the positive side, when I can't reach something, I just call one of my tall kids and have them get it for me. My height also seemed to give the people to license to treat me like a child. I once climbed on a seat on an airplane to smash my luggage into an overhead compartment. The flight attendant watched me for a while when I com and when I completed my task, replied, good girl, you did it. Mind you, the flight attendant was in her 30s. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, there are some positives to being this height. I admit, I've used my head into my advantage at times. I got into the movies for a child's friends <laughs> into my 20s. <laughs> And I was able to get a good looking man to reach things for me at the grocery store. And I can always have an excuse to stand in front of the crowded exhibit. And I'm also often told how young I look. 
Well, I'm 50 years old, and despite a few wrinkles and gray hairs, the latter of which I do not have unless my hairdresser is out of town, people assume I'm more youthful than I am. This is nice, although thinking that just because a person is short, that they're young, is pretty ridiculous. When I was pregnant with my first child, an older woman in her 60s approached me and began to chastise me that women my age should not be getting pregnant. When I told her I was 34, she looks at me like I opened my mouth and a unicorn flew out of it. <laughs> but I realized that everyone has something about themselves they change. Something they feel puts them at disadvantage of their life. Mine just happens to be obvious to everyone. But even being short, I married a great guy. I had two fabulous kids. And man, I love my job. But when it's all said and done, except for the fact that you'll never catch me in a flat shoes, <laughs> I've come to terms with my height. Although the next time you see an adult who's vertically challenged, remember, they know they're short, and they don't need you to remind them. Just please don't comment on it, unless it's to say they're the most beautiful person you've seen in a long time. That I would take in a second.